It's not putting my stamp on it. When this is all said and done, you know, I don't want this to be said, oh, this was what Tom Lehman did. The restorer doesn't have his name on it. It's Picasso or someone like that. So you, you don't want your touch to be seen. You want Robert Trent Jones' intent to be seen. It is a passion, and I've been doing design since the mid-90s. Mid so it's been 20 years, uh, and I really enjoy it. The gold course at one time was known as one of the best courses in the country. It still has the bones for that, you know, but golf has kind of passed it by to a certain degree, technology-wise, maybe even design-wise. There's been some changes over the years that have made it maybe not as good. So we're trying to kind of take it back to more of the original feel, the original intent, strategically, to give it some variety, give it a little different look. Uh, make it uh, more playable for the average player, uh, yet keep it very challenging for the good players. You know, sometimes bunkers get put in just simply because they look good in that position or anything but the fact that it could be a strategically good place for a bunker. So we're trying to eliminate all the unnecessary stuff and use bunkers very strategically in ways that really are significant. They really mean something. So we've eliminated about 30 bunkers. How difficult would it be to just kind of lower that nose, that whole, that whole nose area by about a foot? and then changing fairway lines so that it's not just a straight bowling alley type feel that fairway lines move and they pinch and they get bigger and they go left and they go right and the new bunkers actually are a part of that strategy of different fairway lines. All the things go together like there is no one change that is simply for a new bunker. It's a new bunker because of the bunker and the grass lines and the way the green is shaped and we haven't even touched the greens. We left the greens totally alone because I think the greens are probably the number one defense that the course has so we left the greens totally alone and then tried to enhance and build around the greens and what they have to offer. You know, I've lived in the Valley for 20, almost 26 years, and some of the first people I met were David Eaton, Mel Schultz, uh, Jerry Colangelo. You want to get involved with good people. You want to do fun things with good people, and so that's what we're doing. You have to kind of pick a style of bunkers. Is either the sand flash all the way up to the top of the line of the bunker, or do you bring grass down to the bottom where the sand's on the bottom? So if it means flashing the sand a little bit, you flash it a little bit. A little bit more, you flash a little bit more, but there will be grass tipping over, going down the hill to meet the sand, wherever that might be. I don't want the good players to say, oh, this is a piece of cake now, it's way too easy. That would be a mistake. I don't want the average player to say, oh, it's way too tough, I don't want to play it anymore. That's a mistake. You, know, you want them both to say, now that was really, really fun, and I can't wait to play it again. That would be like, we did it the right way. Love that.